In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Years ago, the Discovery Channel created a series called Frozen Planet. And in one of those episodes, the filmmakers followed a pack of wolves in Russia. In vivid detail, from ground cameras and a camera in a helicopter, they captured a pack of wolves surrounded a herd of animals. The wolves attacked and splintered the group to make it easier to corner and kill their next feast. Had someone been there to ward off the wolves, no animals would have been lost. They would be safe if they had a protector. Jesus uses the same imagery in our gospel this Sunday to show us both the danger we are in from the wolf, Satan, and how he, our sacrificing shepherd, rescues us. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. Like sheep without a shepherd are defenseless against the wolf, so too are we. The wolf, Satan, is a terribly powerful adversary, more powerful than you and I can imagine. There is nothing worse that any army can do than to underestimate the power and dedication of the opposing army they're about to fight. Friends, all too often we also treat Satan as though He's just a nice house dog that we can pet, and only once in a while will he get out of line and nip at us. Nothing could be further from the truth. He is a ravenous wolf, always on the prowl, never giving up, always on the attack or watching for the opportunity to attack. And on the other hand, each one of you knows, at least in part, how dangerous the wolf is because each one of you can recognize the wounds on your own souls and in your lives. The thing is, you have to realize that every time the wolf has injured you or caught you, it wasn't because your shepherd failed. It, would be, it was because you ran away from the protecting arms of your good shepherd, Jesus, and then straight into the bloody jaws of the wolf. Your sin is all your own fault and no one else's. And yet every perfect battle your shepherd fought against the wolf and all the wounds and even death he suffered at the jaws of the wolf and the rest of his condemned pack, well, Jesus, your good shepherd, he endured all of that for you. And because of this, he is both willing and able to heal every one of your wounds too. And so Jesus says to us, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice. And there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my Father. Friends, notice how four times in that section your good shepherd assures you that he is also your sacrificing shepherd. And he sacrificed it all for you so that you wouldn't have to suffer at all. He has rescued you from the jaws of the wolf, Satan, and he has set you free to live in his forgiveness and love. Dear fellow sheep, listen to the voice of your good shepherd who laid down his life for you and took, up, took it up again for you, all so that one day he can take you up into his heavenly sheep pen. Amen.